Yo, 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 what's the deal, what's the deal, it's your boy who is in though, and we back talking sports. <laughs> I've been waiting to do this video. I've been waiting for Russ to give me, you know what I'm saying, for the playoffs to come with the Clippers. So Russ can, you know what I'm saying, have a, a good, you know what I'm saying, a breakout game or an impactful game. But I did not expect for Russ to impact the game the way that he did. And he was shooting awful. I felt so bad. Every shot he missed, I felt worse and worse and worse. Like, they about to kill him. But the way he was playing defense gave me more confidence in the world. I just stopped caring about him missing. After he missed like that, the seventh or eighth shot, bro, bro, and I was looking at how he was playing defense on KD, and then he was playing defense on Devin Booker. And I was like, man, fuck that, bro. Russ is locking down on defense. And then in the fourth quarter, bro, the two biggest plays of the fourth quarter, three biggest plays of the fourth quarter, they're, down, they're up one. They missed two shots. I'm going to combine these plays together. Russ get the one rebound, and then he get the – and then they miss – and then – they miss another shot. They miss another shot, right? And they're up one. Russ get that rebound. He take it out. He don't turn it over or nothing like that. He pass it right to Kawhi. Kawhi uh, bring the three up. They up four. That was a crucial play. Then they're up... Um, Then, with one minute to go, they denying Kawhi the ball. He's trying to get it to, to Kawhi. He's trying to get it to Kawhi. Russ had been 3 of 18 at that point, or 3 of 19 at that point, bro. But he had no choice, but fuck it. He trying to, Russ' confidence is unmatched. He tried to back down Devin Booker, and he gets fouled. I think if he didn't get fouled, he. Could have probably made that shot because it was pretty close. But he banked it. It rolls off. He gets fouled. This was even more clutch. He goes to the free throw line with the weight on the world on his shoulders. On the road in the playoff game. On the road, being a 66% free throw shooter. Russ used to be like an 80% free throw shooter. I don't know what didn't happen the last four or five years. But he's normally a, like an 80 plus percent free throw shooter. He goes to the line. I said, let's go, Russ. That's all I was saying is let's go, Russ. Shoots the first one. Swishes the first one. I said, he at least made the first one. I said, I don't care what y'all say. He at least made the first one. Boom, boom, boom. I'm like. I close my eyes. I'm like, let's go, Russ. When he made that second one, I said, there's nothing y'all can say. Y'all could talk about the 3 and 19. That's all y'all going to talk about. That's all y'all going to talk about. Y'all can't even talk about the turnovers tonight because he only had two turnovers. And then... He did what he had been doing all night, which is locking up on defense. Devin Booker tries to think he's sweet. Devin Booker really should have pulled up for a three because Russ was giving him too much space. But he tried to go for the layup. I don't know why he ain't passed it to KD, but whatever. He tries to go for the layup. As he goes for the layup, you know Russ is still athletic. Russ, 34, jumping like he's 24. Russ jumps up with his – arm hits the ball back to his hand Devin Booker crying to the official he knocked the ball off of Devin Booker game over basically game over basically because it's clipper ball
So I said all that to say this. I was never a Russell Westbrook friend. I hadn't been a Russell. I thought Russell Westbrook was one of the hardest working, one of the, one of the hardest playing players I ever seen. I thought he was great, triple double machine, everything. But I was not a Russell Westbrook fan. I thought he was, you know, what I'm saying. Of course, he's turnover prone. I used to think he was a little selfish until I kind of was like, nah. It looked different than once KD left. I kind of uh, that notion that he was selfish. Nah, I got rid of that. But I was never a Russell Westbrook fan. But the last. Five years, bro. Four years. The last four years, I have turned into a Russell Westbrook super supporter, bro. Especially these last two years, bro. But the like since he's been in Washington, and really I started to see like the growing criticism for him. And then when he then the whole time with the Lakers. I was rooting for him, and what they did to him with the Lakers only made only grew my fandom. I love Russell Westbrook, bro. Like I really do, bro. I have really underappreciated this man, bro. And it took me to about maybe three years ago, three four years ago, to really realize that, bro. I underappreciate. This man, one thing you can never say about Russell Westbrook, you can say, oh, he can't shoot, he turned over prone, or he blah, blah, this, he blah, blah, that. He never keeps you on the effort. He gives you 100% effort every time. <coughs> and that's not something you can say about every NBA player or every superstar NBA player. You got people like Ben Simmons who got all the ability in the world but don't want to get better. And don't really care about basketball and don't give effort. You feel what I'm saying? So effort is just not something you can just get. Effort is a skill. You know how I know? Game one last night. Three different possessions. The Clippers got the rebound back. And you know who was in the middle of that? Russell Westbrook. Got two of them rebounds. And then one of them, he knocked it off of Aiden. Effort will get you a way further. Talent can only get you so far. Effort will always keep you in the game. The media trying to tear this man all the way down, trying to push him out the league. But see, the difference is, it's kind of like the same thing with Carmelo, but see, the difference is with him and Carmelo he does more things on the court than Carmelo. Carmelo was just majority a scorer. You feel me? Russell Westbrook rebounding. You always going to need that. Energy. You always going to need that. And now you can say defense. You feel me? Because it's obvious that Russell Westbrook could always have been a capable defender. Not like I've never seen him lock up like that that is a new dimension to his game bro defense you gonna need that somebody to run the point and that could play make and assist people you're always going to need that and russ found a team that could believe in him and a great coach and look at him like i said he didn't have the greatest shooting night but think about this him not having a three for 19 night I don't think he's going to shoot three or 19 the next game. He's not going to be Steph Curry or Kawhi Leonard or KD efficient, but he'll be all right. But if he give, if he do what he did on the defensive end, rebounding and playmaking, the Clippers, like I said, the Clippers is winning this series in seven. I got him in seven, even without Paul George. Expect, and I feel even better after what I've seen game one. The media trying to tear this man down, push him out the league, but it's not working. You got people like Brian Windhorst giving backhand compliments. I couldn't believe that he kept him in because Ty Lue know what the hell he's doing. And he's a, 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 a championship coach and you are not. 
you a fat ass media member who trying to hate on this man, call this man a vampire in the locker room and junk. Then he goes to the Clippers and they all saying, they all singing his praises. They all giving him love. That show you the culture. That show you that Russ really was not the problem. The Lakers had all type of different problems. Russ did not play well all the time with the Lakers. No, he played. He's playing way better with the Clippers than he did with the Lakers. But they acted like Russell Westbrook was 100% of the problem, and he was not. And he don't have to stand around and be a spot-up shooter. Like I said, I was never a big Russell Westbrook fan. But the last, like I said, the last three to four years, I've become a super Westbrook fan. Super. I mean, watching his videos, going back, watching his, his performances at OKC, all that. I knew Russell Westbrook was cold. It's just I've under uh, undervalued him, and I won't no more, bro. Like, I really hope Russell Westbrook win the title, bro. I'm going to be real with you. I'm a Warriors fan. Pistons Pistons ain't even in the in, – um, they they waiting for Victor Wimbiama, so i deal with the Pistons another time. But the Warriors, I'm still hoping they win tonight. But I'm not going to be mad if the Clippers end up winning the championship. I will be so happy. That would be a big fuck you to the media for Russell Westbrook. And, bro, And even though I know it's not going to happen, what would be even better is if he somehow, you know what I'm saying, revert back to 2016 Westbrook and get a finals MVP. That would be the – man, that would be the biggest fuck you. You know how mad the media members would be if that was to happen? But that's not because Kawhi is like Jordan. But if the Clippers win the championship and Kawhi win the championship with him, PG, and Westbrook, boy, 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 get ready for a lot of Skip Bayless hate. Get ready for a lot of cop and please. Get ready for a lot of cop and please. For real. And really, just even if they beat the Suns out of this first round, Get ready for a lot of cop and please. Because what's going to be the excuse? This is supposed to be the favorites. Like I said, and KD, <sighs> Kawhi put, them, put the business on you. What's up? Kawhi was putting the business on KD. I ain't even going to lie to you. Russell Westbrook and Kawhi was the reason they won, the, won that uh that game last night. But Russell Westbrook defense and his rebounding was the main reason. Put some respect on my boy Westbrook name, bro. You don't got nobody can make you like Westbrook. But for y'all to continuously throw hate and, you know what I'm saying, scrutinize this man every single chance y'all get, no matter what he does, it don't matter if he have a good game or a bad game, we know that. Y'all still going to talk about him on y'all piece of shit media shows. It's sad, bro. And I'm glad that Westbrook is fighting back and doing what he's doing, bro. And I hope he have a better game, too. I hope he drop, 20, I hope he drop a triple-double, 25-10-10, and they win and go up 2-zip. This been Hoosendo, man. I'm out. Peace. Mm-mm. <clears throat>